today's business is coming right back. And our next guest says he's optimistic about the European markets. Francis Claro, Portfolio Manager at Evergreen Investment Management. Francis, what's behind your outlook? Well, we're looking at small and mid-cap stocks, and we see a lot of opportunities in that area. We'll find out what opportunities when we talk to Francis as today's business comes right back. Stay with us. Speaking of moving or not moving, it's widely expected that the European Central Bank will move to increase interest rates at today's crucial meeting. But what is the likelihood that this hike will help boost the flagging euro? Joining us now from Boston with an overview of the ECB meeting and with more on the European markets is Francis Claro, Portfolio Manager at the Evergreen Investment Management Company. Hi, Francis. Good morning, Liz. Let's just uh, point out that the Evergreen Global Opportunities Fund, which you co-manage, has a one-year return of 54%. Obviously, this is a global fund, and you've been able to maneuver around issues such as the euro. What first, might we ask, is going to happen with the ECB meeting? Well, we believe that it's likely that uh, the ECB will raise rates between 25 and 50 basis points. This is widely expected, and essentially the ECB is uh, concerned about inflation, which is creeping above their targets, and also, of course, is concerned about the uh, weakness in the euro. So we think they're likely to raise rates at this point. Yesterday, the euro brushed near its all-time low at about 88 and a half cents. Now, in America, if the dollar were brushing near an all-time low, there would be some major concern. But does Euroland remain somewhat optimistic because this is such a new currency? Well, in the short term, we think that there could be some weakness, some continued weakness in the euro. Uh, in the long term, however, if you look at the uh, purchasing power parity, inflation rate differentials have been fairly low between the U.S. and Europe. So essentially what this means is that the euro, by declining 20%, has made products and services in Europe very cheap relative to the U.S. And so we think that uh, if interest rate differentials continue to uh, decline, uh, that the euro will eventually correct itself and uh, and we think the euro is on the long run quite cheap at these levels. Okay, well let's talk about some of the uh, holdings that you have in your fund and why you like them and obviously with your fund up more than 50 percent they must be helping. Electronics Boutique. Yes, uh, essentially we like the interactive entertainment area. Uh, the Sony PlayStation 2, which is scheduled to come out this fall, is going to be a catalyst for the whole sector to do much better, whether it be retailers or whether it be software developers. Electronics Boutique uh, is a UK retailer mm -hmm. of uh, these goods, and they're going to essentially have a lot of product to sell uh, at full prices, so their, their demand and their margins are going to be increasing. Tell us about Frontline. Frontline is a Norwegian uh, shipping company uh, which transports crude oil. Uh, shipping rates for crude oil have skyrocketed since the beginning of this year and we expect uh, that shipping rates are going to maintain firm because uh, essentially OPEC is going to have to pump out some more crude at some point and uh, inventories are very low and they're going to have to be increased. In addition, scrapping rates for old tankers are increasing uh, due to environmental regulations and shipyard capacity mm -hmm. is uh, also taken up. So, uh, so we see uh, firm rates and uh, we think that uh, Frontline is poised for another leg up. Thank you, Francis, for joining us. Thank you, Liz. Francis Claro of the Evergreen Global Opportunities Fund, live from Boston.